we want to determine if the given infinite series converges or diverges. So we want to start by determining an appropriate test to determine if this series converges or diverges. Looking at our series, notice how we have this fraction raised to the nth power, and because it's raised to the nth power, this should give us the hint that we should apply the root test. So let's review the root test before we apply it. The root test tells us that given the summation of a sub n with the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n equals l, if l is less than one, then the sum of a sub n converges. If l is greater than one, then the sum of a sub n diverges. And then finally, if l equals one, the test fails and we have to apply a different test. So going back to our example, we want to find the limit of the nth root of a sub n. Notice how we can ignore the absolute value because if n is equal to one, this fraction will never be negative. So we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of absolute value of a sub n, or just in this case a sub n, which is natural log n divided by two n raised to the power of n. And we'll notice how we're taking the nth root of this fraction raised to the nth power, so this radical and this exponent will undo each other, leaving us with the limit as n approaches infinity of natural log n divided by two n. Now as n approaches infinity, notice how both the numerator and denominator approach infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So to find this limit, we'll now apply L'Hopital's rule, which means this limit is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. Well, the derivative of natural log n with respect to n would be one divided by n, and the derivative of two n with respect to n would just be two. Well, this simplifies nicely to the limit as n approaches infinity of just one divided by two n. We'll notice how as n approaches infinity, the numerator stays one, but the denominator increases without bound, and therefore this limit is equal to zero. So again, if we go back to the root test, since L is equal to zero and zero is less than one, the given series converges. So again, this is less than one. So we'll say by the root test, since the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n is equal to zero, which is less than one, the given series the summation from n equals one to infinity of natural log n divided by two n raised to the nth converges. Okay, I hope you found this example helpful.